turns into a two dollar bill. Go and take a look in your hand. We, we, I've never like touched your phone before, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Here, here, look, look. I, I'll try something weird. I'll try something weird. If we go here, if we go here. I'm, I'm sensing like a two, three, five, five. Was that it? What? what the? It's a frowny face. Oh no. Just a little magic. Changes into a happy face. Oh. That matches up with your six of clubs. What the? Oh <laughs> shit! Everybody wants to wrestle. Today we are here with an actual wizard, a master of illusion, a professional magician. Please welcome to the show Noah Stratton. Oh, hey Noah, welcome to the show. Um, I suppose you could say it is enchanting to have you here today. I mean, honestly, we should have had I've Got the Magic in Me playing while you walked in. Okay, we're gonna scare him away. Okay, so before we get into the interview, I just wanted to point out this artwork over here. We are going to start featuring visual, art, visual artists' work on the show each month. So this piece is by Morgan Honester. Um, she's in the 12th grade in the Visual Arts Conservatory, and this piece is called the St. Basil Cathedral. So, moving into Noah. Um, how did you get interested in magic? Um, basically, when I was seven years old, my uncle gave me my very first magic set, and uh, instantly I started practicing those tricks and I was hooked. And uh, later on, on my birthday, he took me to see David Copperfield in Las Vegas, and uh, that was just amazing. And that was like something that hooked me to get on my career to becoming a magician. Oh yeah, David Copperfield will get you for sure. Yes. <laughs> um, do you know the first trick you ever performed? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, was it was it? actually my, uh, my uncle teaching me a uh, very first card trick. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to see it. <laughs> my very first trick. This is so special. Let's do this. Yes. So uh, we'll try this. Can you uh, take out any card, any card at all, but do not show me, okay. but just show the camera. I'll okay. take the rest of the cards. Take a look, the camera seat. Yeah? Yes. All right, hold it away from me, I'm gonna turn around. Perfect. And uh, you know what, just cut the cards, uh, put, put your card right there, face down on top of this packet here, and we'll leave it in the center. Is that fair? Very fair. There's no way I could like, There's no way. find where that card is, Absolutely right? Absolutely no way. Impossible. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna fan out the cards like this, right? Right, and uh, you have a card in mind. I do. Would we all be, have a card in mind. Would it be really crazy if I could tell you what that card was? Yes. Yeah. Go like this with your finger. Check this out. Believe it or not, your finger will tell you, tell me where your card is. No. It's almost. I, I'm. I'm sensing it's not in this packet here. How? It's uh. Not in this end packet here. Oh. Nope. Not no, there. Not, not over there. Am I close? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not in that packet. I don't think it's any of these. I think it's that card. It is the Four of Diamonds. By Jove, he's done it. Was that crazy or that what? That was insane. <laughs> I'm gonna teach it to you guys. So okay, there yeah, we go. let's learn how. A Noah tutorial. Would you ever take your take your magic onto a show like America's Got Talent? I'm glad you ask. Maybe 2018. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we'll, we'll watch what happens with that. Yes, I mean, that's awesome. Did you like audition, or you can't say much about it? I can't but... say much right now, but stay tuned. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Um, who? are your mentors in magic? I know you're talking about your uncle kind of getting you introduced to it. Yeah, my uncle, um, my parents, especially my dad, has been putting up, even my mom, uh, just whenever I'm practicing his trick, just showing him to my parents to make sure I got it right. They're probably bored now, but... <laughs> uh, they probably know the tricks better than you do. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, David Copperfield, um, yeah, and all uh, some magician mentors that have guided me along the process. Okay, um, and then in honor of it being Valentine's Day, um, I feel that it is necessary to ask if you have ever used your magic to hit on a girl, or like what, what? Of course. Of course! <laughs> yes. Oh, honey. Um, would you 
you show us your favorite trick to finesse a girl today on the show? Sure. Are you ready? All right, uh, take one out, take one out, anyone. Anyone. Perfect, show the camera. And uh, what I'm gonna have you do is uh, sign your name on the face of that card. Yeah, making it special just for you. Oh, just there you go. Me. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Chivalry is not dead on this Valentine's Day. Exactly. You gotta impress the girl you're showing the trick to. Oh yeah, yeah for yes. sure. Let's <laughs> see. Years of good handwriting. Perfect. All right, uh, we'll show the camera, right? And uh, there's no marks on the front or back of the card. Was your card the sum of spades? It was indeed. Yeah? yeah. Was that magic or what? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to teach it to you guys. No, I'm joking. That was obvious. <laughs> but uh, we'll take the sum of spades here, and uh, we'll uh, actually fold it up into quarters here, like this. Just like that. And uh, Taryn, can you bite down on that? Uh-huh. Perfect. It's like an x-ray. Exactly. And uh, I'll take the next card, the uh, Seven of Clubs. Oh, it's perfect. We're soulmates all along. Oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll take the Seven of Clubs and we'll sign my name, Noah. Right? Noah. And uh, what we'll do, we'll make sure the ink is dry and uh, we'll fold it up like this. Like that. Perfect. Perfect. All right. And uh, we'll try this here. Watch. Did you feel that? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I saw that happen. <laughs> now I have your card. What? Then. No. The seven of spades. Open up. What do you have? I swear. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's Noah's card. No, it's fine. No, it's honestly fine because I watched you write it after. Oh my god, it's happening. Okay. <laughs> Please, if he does this trick to you on Valentine's Day, ladies, you cannot turn him down. I swear. <laughs> With all this magic, Noah, I could probably finally get my Hogwarts acceptance letter. And I have only you to thank for that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching the show this month and being here with us, Noah. Um, as an outro, could you look at the camera and give us your best abracadabra? Sure. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have an awesome month. <laughs> Come on, passion. You say passion. passion. This is your final moment with the audience. <laughs> Captivate them. Abracadabra. Take your favorite card, this is before you even come up to someone to perform it. Let's say it's the Ace of Spades, it's an easy card to remember, and place it on the bottom of the deck. And then hold the deck face down and you're ready to perform. So if you're able to do Riffle Shuffle, just uh, shuffle those cards but retain that card on the bottom. That way it's always on the bottom of the, of the deck so you have complete control over that. And uh, now all you have to do is have them select a card from the center. It's very important, so just take one out. And for demonstration the purposes, Joker. the Joker. So uh, now, now you know that the card is on the bottom, and you've memorized that already. And so you cut the cards halfway, and you have them place it right there on top of the card. And now that places it just underneath that Ace of Spades, which is your key card. And so now you can either deal cards face down or uh, you can actually spread out the cards, which is a very easy way of uh, showing the cards. And uh, all you have to do is look for your key card. So this is the Ace of Spades, and she selected the Joker. So the Joker is just above the Ace or right to the right of it. And then so you can have any sort of presentation you want. And then there it is, the Joker. Perfect. All right. Let's give it a try. Um, our February <laughs> guest, Noah, has challenged his favorite teacher, Mr. Peterson, to a few minute to win it games. Thank you guys again for watching. Check out his information in the link below, and let's watch what happens. All right.